Fire in the hole, let's cook some coffee. That doesn't sound right. Fire in the hole, let's make some coffee. Yeah, all right, whatever. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to my backyard. I got something a little different for you today. Uh, I've got my cowboy coffee pot on the fire, warming up some water, hoping to get it to a boil. And we're gonna cook up something special. I got some uh, Kopi Luwak coffee from Indonesia. And uh, you may have heard of Kopi Luwak coffee. It's pretty uh, famous around the world. It's uh, grown in Indonesia. This comes from, I got a uh, certificate of authenticity from the Three Mountain Coffee Farm. Uh, what happens is there's an animal called the civet cat, the luwak. And what he does is he goes up in the trees, in the coffee trees, and he eats the best coffee beans, which is, it's kind of like a cherry. It has a pit. The pit is the coffee bean that we eat, that we use for coffee. So the luwak goes up there and he eats only the ripest, best uh, pieces of fruit. Then he comes down and nature takes its course and he poops them out. So then the farmers in Indonesia gather up the poop, they wash it, they roast it, and they sell it to you for a very exorbitant price. It costs about $10 a cup. So I gotta tell you, I got myself one of these and I sent one to my buddy Dan Robertson, Mr. Smoky Goodness. And I sent one to my buddy Mike Landry and he cooked it up too. And I'll put in the iCard, I'll put their videos of them uh, sampling the Kopi Luwak coffee. Also, I bought a fourth package that I wanna give away to one lucky subscriber who uh, leaves me a comment, give me a thumbs up on this video and I'll use the random comment picker to give away a uh, pack of that uh, coffee, no, enough to make a cup. It costs about 10 bucks to make a cup of coffee. So let me get my uh, cup set up here and we'll make some coffee, stay tuned. So I got my mortar and pestle out and I took in, uh, I ground up that Kopi Luwak comes in whole beans and I ground it up and I got my, uh, my yellow submarine mug out. That's the Beatles yellow submarine and when the coffee gets in there, you'll see the beetles' faces come in the portholes. And I got my pour over coffee thingy. And like I said, for $10, all you get is enough to make one cup of coffee. That's it. And uh, what I wanted to show you is what I normally drink is we have a Keurig machine. And I normally drink this Cafe Bustello espresso style coffee. This comes in at about 50 cents a cup. I also have this Death Wish coffee, which is supposed to be the world's strongest coffee. It costs about a dollar a cup. And uh, it tastes good, but it's not worth a dollar a cup to me. And also I like, uh, I like the fact that I can get like Starbucks flavored coffees and stuff like that. And that's what I like about the Keurig machine. But what I want to do now is uh, pour some hot water over that coffee and make a cup of Kopi Luwak and take a taste of it. Uh, the coffee smells great. I've had this before actually, but it's been about five years since I had any. I had it at a radio station promotion and they were doing it, they bought a pound of it. It's like 500 a pound. And uh, they bought a pound of it and they made some pots of coffee and they were passing it out to people in the park. And so I had tasted Kopi Luwak once before and I really liked it. But I've had other coffees that I like just as much or more and they're not anywhere near the price of this coffee. Like a Jamaican Blue Mountain or Hawaiian Kona is really good if you get the real stuff from Hawaii or the real stuff from Jamaica. So anyway, as soon as my water gets hot, I'll pour it out and we'll make some coffee. Stay tuned. Water's boiling, so let's make some Kopi Luwak coffee. And you'll, you'll know it's hot because the beetles will appear when the coffee gets in the cup. This is a pretty good little appliance right here. Here come the beetles. I see George. There's Ringo. 
Paul and John are on the other side. Okay. There you go. Looks like we're done. That's a cup of hot Kopi Luwak coffee. Pretty good. There's Ringo. There's John. And there's Paul. So, let's take a sniff of that. Let's quaff the froth off it. Roll, what do you think? It smells excellent. I gotta tell you, I've had this before, but it's been like five years. And all I really remember about it was it's very smooth. Let me take a sip. Let me quaff the froth off it, Roll. Mmm. That's hot. Mmm. It's definitely got a... It, there's, there's absolutely no acidity to this coffee. It's very, very smooth and very... Uh, I don't know how to say it. It's very... Uh, it doesn't have any bite at all. And you really, you can't taste any cat poop, so don't even think about that. But you know, uh, the thing about me is, I like a little cream in my coffee. I know, you know, the Kopi Luak people don't like that idea. But I like a little, uh, a little flavored cream in my coffee. I know this is like sacrilege here, but, you know, I like it white and sweet like my women. So I'm going to put a little creamer in there. It's the only way I'm going to be able to really assess this coffee. Yeah. There's Polly saying hello to you. Oh, man. Well, with the creamer in it, it really uh, brightens it up for me. Anyway, there you go. Kopi Luwak coffee. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you'd like to try some, give me a thumbs up on this video, be a subscriber, and leave me a comment. This video is going to post on the 4th of July. So uh, you should have all day to watch it. And you can watch my Kopi Luwak. I'm going to let my coffee cool down. I'm going to drink that whole cup, of course. For $10, I can't pass it up. And uh, yeah, that's about it, babies. <laughs> Kopi Luwak coffee is kind of anticlimactic, isn't it? It is good coffee, but not worth $10 a cup. Ah. It's very refined, very smooth. I guess passing it through the inside of a civet cat makes it good. Anyway, that's my video, babies. Uh, come back on Friday. I'm going to uh, do some beef. And then the following Friday, I'll announce the winners of the coffee. So anyway, yeah, that's it. <laughs> no beer, no meat, a little bit of fire and some $10 a cup coffee, which I'm going to enjoy as it cools off. So uh, come back on Friday, I'm making pulled beef, and on the following Friday, I'll announce the winner of the coffee. Bye. I'll leave you with a photo of a civet cat. Bye. <laughs>